Holiday's onside. That's an inviting one. It's Ledbetter. It's 1 0. Middlesbrough have taken 14 minutes to get the breakthrough. Caddis. Ravel Morrison. Down goes Marlon King. Penalty. We saw Marlon King convert coolly from the spot of Pride Park last week to level things up. He has the opportunity to do exactly the same here. And he blasts it home for Birmingham. They will go in 1-1. I'll tell you what, this is a terrific penalty under enormous pressure. The side haven't played well at all in the first half. Has only had one sniff of goals and looking not to score from general play. But this is a really assured penalty and gets Birmingham right back in the game and that changes the half-time team talk of Lee Clark. Halfway line. McDonald, alert, pouncing on some uh, unsure defending, and McDonald forces it home! Scott McDonald's third goal in two games, and Middlesbrough in front again at St Andrews. Spector up to Zigic. Hines Rose, Ibanez in there. Elliott! Oh, Wade Elliott! He's plucked a really classy finish out of this cold Birmingham air to level it up at 2-2. Well, this is an absolutely stunning strike. To control it on your chest and strike it before it drops is, is top quality. I just wonder about Jason Steele. Is he a little bit caught out? Doesn't expect for the shot to come in at all. And I'm not sure whether it actually loops over him or goes through him. You can see how disappointed he is. There's been a great response from Birmingham going behind. On the right-hand side, Lovenkrantz has come on and looked lively as well. He's got an opportunity here to spring forward. Marlon King. King! Delivers again for Birmingham. For the first time in the night, Birmingham lead. Well, he's hardly had a kick in this second half, but this is the, the mark of a, a truly experienced centre forward. He appreciates the pass from Lovenkrantz. He said the influence he could have on the game in that position just off Marlon King. But once he picks the ball at Lovenkrantz, he could have gone himself, he didn't. He decided to roll the ball into the path of Marlon King, who still has a lot to do. This is most unlike McEachern, giving the ball away cheaply. And when this ball is played, look at the movement from Marlon King, that's excellent. He's got to get the ball past the big frame of BK and beat Jason Steele. And then tuck it inside that far post, and he does all three things really, really well. And that's a fabulous finish, and what a boost for Birmingham. If they can go on and pick up the points from this game, that could be the spark their season needs.